you likely already know that Android has a long press gesture that can give you access to additional options. For example, whenever we long press on an empty spot of the home screen, we have the option to bring up a menu that gives us the ability to change the wallpaper, select a widget, and more. You can also do long presses on application icons themselves for a quicker way to access things like the app info page or predetermined app shortcuts. However, many people avoid the long press gesture as there is a delay between when, you're, when you put your thumb or finger on the screen and when that pop-up appears. But if you have a Google Pixel smartphone, then you should know that there is a quicker way of accessing these options. So a while back, Apple introduced a hardware feature to its phone and called it force touch. What this did was it detected how much pressure was being applied to the screen. And in doing so, it allowed Apple to introduce what Google uses as the long press gesture. However, when force touch was introduced, Google began looking into a way to bring this feature to Android using software instead of hardware. The company discovered a pattern where each time someone pressed firmly on the screen, their pad of the thumb or the finger spreads out across the touchscreen. We can see that in this blog that Google published a while back. On the left here, we have a normal tap, a normal press, a gentle tap of the screen and we can see which areas of the touchscreen are activated because of it. But we can also see that whenever this single touch extends to a forced touch, the pads of our thumb or finger spread out more and begin to activate more of the touchscreen. So the operating system is able to detect this and then offer long press options to the user as it believes they are trying to perform one of these long press gestures. Sometimes this works flawlessly and the user won't even notice a thing. We can see a regular long press. You can see there's a bit of a delay there, but then we can do the press, the firm press gesture, and it is a little bit faster than a long press. So sometimes this can get triggered on accident because of the way is it, it is implemented. For example, there are times when I'm scrolling through an article on a website somewhat slowly, and because I end up pressing on the screen a little bit more firmly than normal, Chrome will sometimes detect this trigger is a firm press gesture on my Google Pixel 6. And sadly, these type of accidents are to be expected since Google is using machine learning for this gesture. And I really wish Google had added a way for us to disable the firm press gesture on Google Pixel smartphones. But honestly, it's not something that I come across too often. And more times than not, it's just a simple tap on the screen to get rid of whatever accidental pop-up that appeared on the screen. However, I feel that the more people know about this, the fewer accidental gestures will happen or at the very least, you'll know what's causing these accidental long press gestures while you're using the phone.